Good day everyone! Welcome to TLE Class Agricultural Crop Production Our lesson for today is about Perform Estimation and Basic Calculation Farm Inputs These are the different resources that are used in crop production such as seeds, fertilizers, and pesticides. A seed is the part of a seed plant which can grow into a new plant, a mature ovule consisting of an embryonic plant together with a stored food, all surrounded by a protective coat. It is used to propagate plants easily. Fertilizers are substances that supplies nutrients to the soil that are essential for the growth of the plant. A pesticide is any substance used to kill, repel, or control certain forms of plant or animal life that are considered to be pests. Farm labor. These are the energy needed so that the production grows. Labor inputs also use tools and equipment to make the labor easy and to secure the production activity. Labor requirement for land preparation. Plowing using a tractor. Clearing of the land using a hoe. Plowing using animal. Harrowing using a hand tractor. Labor requirement in planting. Pulling of seedlings. Transplanting of seedlings. Labor requirement for plant care. Fertilizer application. Pest control. Irrigation. Weeding. Harvesting, threshing rice, drying rice, and storing. Planting crops. Seeds are very important to animals and human beings because almost all the plants, which are the sources of food, come from seeds. A seed is a fertilized and ripened ovule which may develop into a plant by germination. Parts of the seeds are seed leaves, future shoot, and future root. Testing the viability of seeds. Not all seeds have the ability to germinate due to the following reasons. High moisture or the temperature condition. Long storage. Seeds are kept too long. Immaturity. Too immature when harvested. Common methods of testing the viability of seeds Number 1. Ragdoll method It is a method of testing seeds using a towel. The towel is soaked and drained in water, which drones the seeds and adds seeds. Seed box method It is the process of germinating your seedlings in one flat tray, usually 3 to 4 inches deep. Petri dish method also known as container method that uses a shallow transparent kneaded dish. It has the advantage that the seeds can be observed through the transparent lid and the germinating seeds are therefore easy to count. Floating in water method, also known as water test. Take your seeds and put them in a container of water. Let them sit for about 15 minutes. Then if the seeds sink, they are still viable. If they float, they most likely will not sprout. Here is the formula for computing the percentage of germination. Percentage of germination is equals to number of seeds germinated times 100 over number of seeds sown. For example, after inspecting the seed box, you find that only 180 seeds germinated out of 200 seeds that you are sown. The percentage of germination will be Percentage of germination is equals to Number of seeds germinated which is 180 times 100 over number of seeds sown which is 200 180 times 100 is equals to 18,000 over 200 When you divide this, the answer is 90 so the percentage of germination is equals to 90%. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something today. See you on our next lesson.